Okay, today we're going to tell you how to fix a very common and very frustrating problem that you have with a lot of your um, internet service providers. In my case, I have Cox Communications High Speed Internet. Um, I've over the last, I don't know, four or five years have had to come have them come out once every three, four months. They come out, they go out to the street, they make some kind of change. Uh, I'm okay for a couple of months, then the next thing you know, my internet's dropping constantly. Um, we pay good money for our high speed internet and to have it constantly dropping and having a new technician come out and have to re-explain the problems. And some of the technicians have even been at my house up in the attic and all over the place for about two hours. And each time they come out, you have to wait for some four hour window for them to do that. I finally decided to take things into my own hands. Um, I've identified the problem on my cable modem. It seems that I have a high upstream power level. And this amplifier here, which is from Motorola, BDA K1RA, this is the trick. What you wanna do is get yourself one of these the, the main trick in this is that it is an active return. Active return means that it's going to uh, boost up the um, signal that is going from your cable modem to Cox cable. The reason that your power level, your upstream power level gets so high is that the quality of the line is bad and, the, and your, your cable modem is instructed by the cable company to increase its power because it can't hear it. So it's basically the equivalent of your cable modem screaming and what happens is once the cable modem gets up to a certain uh, volume level, if you will, or a certain um, uh, upstream power level, it indicates that there's some kind of loss of connection and it will restart. So the active return will boost this signal going back to the cable company, which means that your cable modem doesn't have to work as hard. Your cable modem doesn't have to scream. It's, it's uh, very akin to if you're in a, uh, a big auditorium giving a speech to you know, let's say 50 people and you don't have a microphone, you're having to talk very loud. If they put a microphone in your hand, an amplifier, all of a sudden you don't have to work as hard to get your same message out. This amplifier will also boost the uh, downstream power level. The downstream power level uh, uh, in my case is fine. Mine is at like about negative seven to negative um, eight. Uh, acceptable range for downstream power is negative 14 to positive 14, but the closer you can get to zero, the better. So actually a little increase in the power uh, uh, coming towards my cable modem would actually be a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, first we're gonna show you what the um, power levels look like uh, on my modem before the amplifier, what our download and upload speeds are. Then we're gonna go ahead and install this and we're gonna show you the, uh, the power levels of the cable modem and then the, uh, the download and the upload speeds at that point. Okay, so these are the settings that my cable modem has when I don't have the amplifier in place. These are the, the problems that, that this amplifier will resolve. Uh, what we want to look at are a couple of things here. One is uh, the downstream settings and the other one is the upstream. There's just a few areas that you need to look at. Signal to noise ratio should be uh, 30 dB or better. My uh, All three of my channels here are running at 36, which is excellent. Uh, the reason I have three channels is I have a DOCSIS compliant, DOCIS compliant uh, modem, which allows you to have multiple download channels and it increases your download speeds. The next thing to look at is your power level. My downstream power level is at negative 7 to negative 8 dBmV. This number here, uh, good ranges are anywhere from negative 14 to positive 14, but the closer you can get to zero, the better off you are. So I, there, there's room for improvement here. and um, You'll see after we hook up the amp that I'll get improvement on my downstream. Even though all of these numbers here are perfectly well within spec, um, improving these will also uh, help improve the overall quality of your connection and also uh, the download speeds that you can get. Uh, upstream, this is where I'm having my, my, uh, my real grief here, and this is why my cable modem keeps resetting. Uh, you can see the power level is sitting here at 58 dBmV. Optimal for this is anywhere between 40 to 50, maybe as high as 55. I'm well outside of that. To compound things, this DOCSIS compliant modem, cable modem, uh, has a lot less tolerance for this power level. So being at 58, I'm really starting to hit a lot of uh, disconnects and resets of the modem as it's trying to, you know, talk to the back to the uh, to the cable company. Uh, the other thing you'll notice here is that this number 16 QAM um, when I actually hook up the um, amplifier you'll see that that's going to go to a um, 64 QAM 
This has to do with uh, the quality of the connection. And again, this will um, help uh, improve my, my upload speeds. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, hook up the, uh, the modem here in just a moment. But what I also want to show you is um, what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, speeds I'm getting before I actually put the, um, the cable modem into place. Sorry, not the cable modem, the amplifier. So what I'm going to do here is go to site that I like to for performing these sorts of tests. Um, it's speedtest.net. And let's go here. And I'm going to run three different tests just to see currently what my speeds are. I usually like to take this straight across here and I do a test against the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. So I'm just going to do a cross country uh, a test here. Maybe pick something. Um, let me just go up here and scroll up just a little. And if I can get this position just right, that'd be great. Okay, so let's go over here to uh, to uh, Boston, Massachusetts. First thing it's going to do is the uh, a ping test, and then it's going to do the upload speed. Sorry, download speed. So that's about 12 and a half megabits per second. My upload speed is... Three point four three uh, megabits per second. So you can see we have uh, we have twelve point four seven download and three point four three upload. So let's say roughly twelve and a half and three and a half. I'll go ahead and do the same test again. I like to usually run it about three times and get an average here, so I can kind of get a good feel for how I'm running. And I always do it against the same server, so that it's a consistent test. So you can see the download speeds at fourteen and a half. Last time we ran it, we had about 12 and a half. And now we have three and a half on our uploads. And let's go ahead and do one more test. See what we get. So again, about over 14 for the download speed. And we'll probably be right around three or so for the upload speed. So again, these are my speed tests before I've had the amplifier in place. Um, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and hook up the amplifier, and then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll uh, first of all, take a look again at our cable modem uh, signal settings, and then we'll also run another speed test and see what kind of improvements we get. Okay, so the amplifier has been hooked up and now we're going to take a look at our downstream and upstream power levels and make sure that uh, signal to noise ratio looks good. So here are the new settings. Um, I actually uh, have a better signal to noise ratio. I believe last time I ran around maybe 36. The um, power level for downstream has gone from negative 6 to negative 8 to now uh, between 5 and 6. Again, I didn't get the amp to uh, improve uh, my or, or um, increase my downstream power levels, but that's not going to negatively impact the performance of my modem. What I really did it for is this. This is a significant improvement. Um, as you uh, recall, I was sitting at 58 dBmV and having frequent cable modem drops. Now I'm at a nice comfortable 41. Um, this QAM, which in a nutshell is uh, something called decision points. Basically, the higher the number, the the better your bandwidth, but the more susceptible you are to noise. So in the case of my downstream, it's always sitting at 256. Downstream is what I really mainly care about. Mainly uh, data is coming to my home rather than away from it. Um, so this 16 QAM is not really of any concern. So again, the, the huge improvement here, I went from 58 to 41. Uh, like I said, I have not had any Cable modem drops. This has completely uh, resolved my, my uh, problem. Uh, the other thing I want to show you uh, is the speed test. Now, I didn't really expect to get much of a, um, a gain in download and upload. Uh, as it is, it would have been nice if I did, but I'll just run it for you anyway. So this, this is the speed test, uh, again, with the amplifier installed. Before, I was getting around 14 and a half. Uh, here, I'm getting around uh, 16, 17, uh, 18. So I did get a good improvement. I'm at 18.29 for my download speed. 
And then my upload speed, yeah, that one looks like it's taking a little bit of hit, but basically looks like we're in the uh, three megabit range, uh, which is perfectly fine. So uh, uh, actually got a, a fairly sizable increase. Um, I used to sit around uh, 14 and a half for my download speed. Now I'm at about 18, uh, 18 plus or minus there. And then my upload speed wasn't impacted. But again, uh, the biggest thing about this amp is that it, it took my upstream power level and brought that guy right down from 58 to 41. I couldn't be happier. And I strongly recommend that you uh, get this Motorola amplifier. All the information about the amplifier and other uh, links that I find helpful for troubleshooting cable modems uh, are in the description. And uh, that's it. Thank you.